If it wasn't for you, those planes would have hit the World Trade Center. Brian, what the hell did you do? I, uh, may have told my former self about 9-11. What did I tell you about altering the past? Wait, wait, when did you even do that? Well, you remember when I said I was going to take a leak? Brian, you shouldn't have done that. Who knows what unforeseen consequences are awaiting us? Saddam Hussein could be president. Mexico could be the world's dominant superpower. Cookie Monster could have invented Facebook. What is this? Cookie Book. Brian, hurry, it's starting. Good evening, I'm Tom Tucker. And I'm Joyce Kinney. Our top story, Quahog prepares to unveil a new statue commemorating perhaps its greatest hero ever. That's right, Tom. It was ten years ago that an almost inconceivable plot to destroy the World Trade Center was thwarted by Quahog's own Brian Griffin. This amateur video captured Griffin's heroism in the face of a shadowy terrorist organization called Holy <laughs> Look at all those vowels. al Ida. Here, make sure you get all this. Time to terrorize the terrorists. Ugh, you prepared catchphrases for yourself? No, not necessarily. <laughs> Mohammed Atta stayed home. Nobody knows that guy's name yet. You're using information that nobody knows. <laughs> Houston, we have a solution. Houston's for space, not everyday air travel. Tell him to ground every plane out of the East Coast. Seacrest out. <laughs> Wow, what a hero. Coming up next in sports, Arizona Cardinal Pat Tillman, tackled by his own team. Oh, Brian, we're so proud of you. Yeah, buddy, great job stopping those terrorists. And thank God their follow-up attack on St. Louis was a bust. We missed! Brian, I promise you all of this can only end badly. Dewey, it's fine. I prevented 9-11. How could that possibly be a bad thing? I mean, come on, I, I saved like 200 lives. 3,000. Wow, 3,000? Ah, oh, you knew what you were doing there. This major breaking news just in. Nine southern states have declared that they are seceding from the United States. The announcement came from former President George W. Bush, who reformed the Confederacy after a bitter loss in his 2004 re-election bid. Bush lost in 2004? Yeah, he probably couldn't exploit people's fears with no 9-11. Bush appeared before the press today to make this brief statement. If anyone out there can get their hands on a clown suitcase, I'd very much like to see what's inside of there. I think we have the wrong clip. It, what? No? It, this... Uh, okay, that was George W. Bush declaring civil war on the northern states. Oh, my God! Civil war? See, Brian? This is exactly what I was talking about! Look, Stewie, this doesn't necessarily mean things are going to turn out badly. In, in fact, I bet five years from now, the world will still be better off for what I did. Is that so? Well, Brian, if you're that sure of yourself, then let's go five years into the future and you can prove me wrong. Fine. Wow, this is the future? Everything looks slicker. Hey, Lois, I found some double-sided tape. I think I can do about seven minutes worth of funny stuff with it. That should get us to the Meg kissing booth story. Well, things have gotten kind of lazy, huh? Hey, Peter. Thanks for letting me borrow your screwdriver set. You know, I just want to say how nice it is to be back here with y'all on Spooner Street. Oh, I guess things didn't work out in Virginia. Chris, I heard you got a D on your report card. Here's a cutaway. Matthew McConaughey is terrible. Good Lord, what's happened to us? Okay, maybe things seem a little off, but other than that, the world seems okay. Which proves my point. Me stopping 9-11 led to a world that's just fine. Well, I'll see y'all tomorrow. Ryan, you might want to look outside. Oh, my God.